I'm Haifa. I'm from Kerala. I was doing my master's in development studies from Tata Institute of Social Sciences. Uh, I'm a fresh graduate, after which I joined the Urban Fellowship Program at this institute. After my post-graduation, I was really interested to explore urban spaces and challenges and opportunities which urban spaces are facing. Uh, but also I wanted it to be something very different other than from the very disciplinary kind of courses I did in my past. So I wanted it to be a mix of practice and theoretical framework, which was what I was expecting when I applied for the fellowship. It was really a new you know, professional and personal opportunity for me. And especially I was so excited about the the kind of mix of faculties I would see, uh, meet here because they are also people who are very experienced in practice and also people you know who can talk a lot, talk a lot about their research and their theory so I really so that mix actually worked out for me and one thing which I enjoyed a lot in this fellowship was immersion trips because I really enjoy you know getting to know cities and different you know different aspects of cities, not just from one point of view, not just from the tourist point of view, but also from the people who are living in the cities, people who make decisions for those cities, people who are affected by those decisions. So the two immersion trips, I went to Chennai and uh, Kochi, it was, it was quite a moment for me, especially I'm from Kerala, I didn't know anything about Kochi. You know, but now I can talk very confidently about the governance systems in Kochi, uh, especially Kochi Metro, like which you know, which we all we always used to argue in all these governance discussions. So that was quite enjoyable. And one thing which actually ran through the whole fellowship for me was the theme that you know you was I was exposed to a lot of new knowledge and expertise kind of systems. Uh, even if we take the media lab, you know, I don't think I would never get a chance to handle a camera or anything, you know, anywhere in my, you know, uh, life. Yeah, so those things. One thing I was very skeptical when I came here was about, you know, where will I go next? Because I was in a place, a mid ground between academics and practice. But I was also very interested in the space of governance and bureaucracy. So after coming here, I had the chance to, you know, I got exposed to a lot of practitioners who are not just in the academic sphere, but also who work with the governments, a lot of civil service officers and those kind. So it actually gave me a bit of confidence to actually look into that space of bureaucracy because I was a lot interested in uh, exploring the service delivery mechanisms, but being part of the system. So um, so I think after this fellowship program, like that would be where I, I would be exploring myself in, in being part of some system and you know, trying to initiate collaborations with, between different stakeholders, something like that. I felt that the coursework within the classroom was quite intense and for me at least it was quite repetitive because I was always uh, aware of those discourses and knowledge. Not every coursework but particularly if you talk about governance, infrastructure and all. We were, so what I feel is that there are people in the fellowship program who is already aware of the debates and discourse. So for them, I would say ki the coursework did it offer anything new or you know any new knowledge. Really. That would I say as a. I would say yes because I feel a sense of direction now at the end of the program because I'm no more in the cares. Like I have figured out where I have to go and what I have to do. So definitely yes, the expectations has been met. One thing I liked and learned a lot from uh, was from the fellows itself. Definitely a very diverse pool. You know, getting to interact with them in such proximity and you know such intense uh, coursework. Like it was fun. 